Hey guys, Gary with Automatic Door and Hardware here. Um, just at the beach here overlooking. Uh, on vacation, but thought I'd also mention this. Uh, it's in regards to our Commander Low Energy Door Opener, um, or any door opener in general. Uh, a lot of times people wonder, you know, well, how do I, how do I integrate a door opener if the, if the building's like a hospital or someplace with a master access control system? And they, let's say they already have mag locks or they already have an electric strike and it's tied into their access control system with a pin reader or some sort of card reader system. Well, it's actually not as bad as everyone th makes it out to be because with these access control systems or the master access control systems, when a card reader or, or a, ba you know, a badge reader or anything like that is used to, you know, used to activate the door or I guess release the lock it goes it goes directly to the access control system and those guys do have the ability to give you a dry contact or activation wires um, off of that system so what I mean by that is you know a, a typical system might be a card reader on the outside with an electric strike and uh, and some sort of rec sensor or interior uh, request to exit push button. And a lot of times what happens is you, you know, the employee, whoever it may be, the maintenance personnel, whoever has access, swipes his card or taps his card on the card reader and it uh, sends a signal all the way to the access control system. And, you know, the access control system verifies that he has the right credentials. If he does, it then sends a signal to the electric strike to release and then the person walks through the door well if you want to add a door opener to that uh, it's actually quite simple because as as the person swipes the card it sends a signal to this access control system and then that releases the electric strike um, what you want to do is you want to have activation wires from the access control system uh, to your door opener and you want those signals uh, to activate your door opener at a set delay after the electric strike is released. Uh, one big mistake that people make is they they active they get the wires from the access control system to activate the door when it's time, but they have it activating the door at the exact same time that the strike is trying to release. So what happens is the door opener will. The door opener will actually preload the electric strike and the electric strike won't release. So that's a huge thing is to when you're dealing with these major access control software systems is to always make sure that if you do get that signal that you have some sort of delay. Now if they can't do a delay, you can still use a module such as uh, one of our time delay modules or some sort of a, a door control one of our door control modules where essentially you could put the you could put those wires into that module delay you know have a delay and then and then go into our door control and activate it so there there are a ton of different ways to do it uh, but a lot of times it isn't as complicated as everybody makes it out to be uh, if they don't have an access control system it's even easier because things like the card reader can be tied directly to our door opener to activate um, or the pin reader to activate I mean there's tons of different ways to do it but that's one of the examples, and uh, if you have any questions, just email us, sales at autodoorandhardware.com, and we could run you through a few different situations or scenarios or ways of doing it. Like I always tell everybody, you know, a lot of times the simplest way is the best way, so reach out to us, um, but do know that our Commander Auto Door Opener is, I, in my opinion, one of the best on the market, and it can be integrated with virtually any system, so... Um, yeah, contact us today if you're interested. All right, thanks guys. Bye.